Hello, everybody. Look what I've got. Hands up all those who know what this instrument is. OK, I can't see your hands. It's a kora. It comes from West Africa. It's a fantastic instrument. It's a little bit like an African version of a harp. And it's extremely difficult to play, but it sounds absolutely wonderful and evocative, um, which is why I bought it. But I can't play it, which is really <laughs> sad. Why did I buy it and then can't play it? Because it's a great thing to have around and it can be incredibly useful for making wonderful sounds. And I thought what we might do today, rather than rush out and buy yet more sample libraries or whatever, is to try and make some sounds out of stuff we've got lying around. And so the other day, <coughs> off good old Amazon, I bought uh, a really cheap violin bow. And then I started trying to play the chorus with a violin bow. And nothing happened. And I thought, what? This is ridiculous. Um, I've got a faulty violin bow. Then somebody pointed out, actually, what you need to make it work is rosin. If you don't put rosin on the bow, nothing happens. Oh, I knew that. No, I didn't. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to record in some interesting sounds and try and do a sort of dark and brooding, noir -y sort of piece um, that at least starts with um, our Cora. We may use other instruments as well, and then we might put some, you know, some, some more traditional stuff around it. But I thought maybe starting with something like this might give us a sort of head start to produce something a little bit different. What do you think? I can't see you still. So why do I keep asking you questions? Okay, I think it's a great idea. Let's jump to it. <laughs> You can tell I'm not a string player. So, that is the raw material, such as it is. Doesn't sound very promising, does it? No, it doesn't, but it will be great, maybe. Uh, well, let's see. We have no idea. We'll see what comes of this. So come back in a second and we'll start chopping it up inside um, uh, good old Cubase and trying to make some instruments out of them and see, see what's what. OK, right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we go any further, here is a quick word from our sponsor which is me. If you want to write better music, better tunes, more interesting chord progressions, and fully develop your ideas, then check out my online course, How to Write Music. Six hours of video tutorials, free downloads, musician. Whether you want to write instrument comprehensive course text, take your music to the next level with How to Write Music. God, it's so good, I'm gonna buy it. Right, back to the composition. So, We've got some long ones, and we've got some short, choppy ones. Hang on, let's drag the short, choppy ones off there. Uh, take all that off. Okay, so let's listen to this, see what it sounds like. Right, I'm just record some stuff, then we're going to chop it up. Yes, I can hear you, guy. I think I was better later on, wasn't I? Try some of the latest. I quite like that one. So, okay, let's drag that one off. Down there. What I might do, you see, is uh, okay. What I've d there's it going forwards. There's it going backwards. If we overlap it, cross fade, and now blend it together. We've got a longer sample which starts and finishes. So listen, let's see if it works. And then I can feed it into us. Oh, turn off that. Here we go. Okay, that might work. Let's add um, ice tube. I like isotope for these kind of things. It's either going on a sampler track or it's going in isotope. So let us uh, bounce that out so we can drag it into isotope and see if we can. Uh, so this is Cora 1. And we're going to stick it on the desktop and then drag it in. Do your thing, 
That's it. Let's find where Cora 1 has gone. Here, little sound file. There it is. Okay, drag it in, and let's see. So, now, solo that. See what you can do with these things. What I'm looking for is something kind of um, sort of dark and noirish, which we can use as a, a sort of a bed and then put other stuff on the top. Let's try look, look for another sample. That's not bad. Okay. Let's try that one. Try doing the same reverse-y thing. Crossfade it. Blend it together. See what that sounds like. Solo, take the solo off. Here we go. I like that. I'm going to go with that one too. And I think if we lay both of those up inside the same instrument, like it's like a kind of drone, like one of those, um, uh, what do you call them? What do you call them? Nickel Harper things, or one of those Scandinavian drony type things. Um, uh, and for those of you who played Scandinavian drony type thing, I'm probably going, okay, no, you can't call it a Scandinavian drony type thing. It's a precious nickel hopper or a curdy wobbly thingy or whatever. I'm sorry. It's a Scandinavian drony thing. Right, here we go. Look, now let's find another channel. Let's dra drag that in there. Here we go. Let's try soloing that one. How's that going to work? Are they in tune? Yes, they are. Right, let's pan left and right a bit. Ooh, it's starting to work. That's exactly, exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, this is working better than I thought it was going to, frankly. Okay, now we definitely need some sort of ah, reverby stuff. Don't you think? Ow! Don't tell me you've crashed or I'll be very... <gasps> no! It crashed! Uh, if you weren't here, I'd be saying some very, very rude things. Never mind. Oh, well. Anyway, can't have gone far. Um, we will... Oh, it saved two minutes ago. Thank you. Yes, open the backup project. Yes, rename the backup project. I don't mind. Whew, that was a close one. Right. Ah. Oh. oh, really? I lost almost nothing. Oh, super duper. Excellent. Do people say super duper these days? Ah, my mum used to say super duper. Yeah, there are things you say which your parents used to say, and you've just sort of slightly lost the fact that people don't say that anymore. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go on saying super duper because I don't care. I know we don't. Hang on, what am I doing? I don't. I'm just. We are not putting it on as a, a track like that. We're going to put create add effects track reverb. Let's go to bar 100 or something out of the way because I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, this will do.
just a fifth and then going to a sharp five. Almost sounds like a didgeridoo. I, I do quite like that. Right, let's add. Um, I'm just going to add a very simple uh, synth track to the back of it. Um, let's go with us. Let's. Uh, I love Dune Three. It's really, really good. You can do all kinds of things with it. It comes. Uh, what am I looking for? I want something warm. I just record a bit of this drone. I don't need to cut because I can cut and paste it. Actually, what I am thinking of doing, I'll tell you what I am thinking of doing, um, and that's duplicating this isotope thing and just bouncing out just the low octave and then bouncing out just the top stuff so I can balance it better. What's the best way to do it? I know, duplicate the track and then go on the top one, get rid of the bottom part and on the bottom one, get rid of the top part. So that is now high and this one becomes low. Okay. So now uh, we will uh, render that in place with cut. Ooh, doesn't want to be rendered. Ah, that's because, there you go. I think you want to be rendered now. Yes, please, render me. I won't say it, but I quite like this. I think it could turn out to be quite interesting. It's the, I you know, things happen quite quickly. It w the idea sort of worked. Then you could spend days going back and forwards trying to make it work better. But just as a little kind of, I think it sounds quite interesting. Um, I have to say that um, uh, that drony th uh, thing straight out of the core, it sounds really nice. I really like that. Um, I was going to put some delay on it. Is delay a bit, am I going to spoil it? Yes, you're gonna spoil it. I don't do it. Don't put the lay on it. Too late, I say. For the delay is applied. You can make it quite subtle. You said subtle guy. I know that wasn't very subtle. Turn that tune down. The other thing I might do with this. Okay, now, right, let's see. This is all going fine. Now, what I did say we would look at, where's that chinky stuff, or that kind of dinky, 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 dinky thing? Is it that one? If I can just subtly bring that in. Okay, that'll do, except it's in a different key. But that doesn't bother me unduly, because, who's Aunt Julie? No, um, because we can always pitch shift it, because it's a strange sound anyway. Cora rhythm, and who cares? Uh, it'll sound great. Um, Rhythm often takes a few bars to settle down. There we go, there's two bars there, which is pretty good. Uh, so you, I rarely start right at the beginning. 
Um, so we're going to have um, worth quantizing it. Let's see. Okay, I like that. Let's see how this is going to fit in with the rest of our little idea. So go there, paste it in. Okay, we're going to have to push that down um, by... Well, we can guess what it is, actually, because what we were doing before was 30 cents out, and it's the same instrument, so therefore we can put in a pitch shifter. Pitch shift. I use the waves one most of the time. Uh, sound shifter, there you go, that one. And we go down by 30 cents to start with, then we work out how many semitones we need to move it around. Ooh, I quite like that. That, though. This is quite fun. I think this is going all right. Look, I mean, what do we think? Does it need this? Maybe not. Second opinion, second opinion. What do you think of this, boys? Come and have a listen. This is my Cora thing. So I'd, I'd, I recorded it being bowed and then tapping it, and it comes and it's got a bit of synth on the side, but I think it sounds really good. I stuck it into Isotope, uh, into Iris. Oh, here we go. Nice sound, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of... Sounds a bit like a didgeridoo. I'm oh, quite pleased with that. Then I did this little kind of tappy thing in a minute. But if you imagine sort of some noise, some sort of arctic sort of scape, you know, where, where you just got miles and miles and miles of, of, of snow and ice and just this hand sticking out out of the snow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. Yeah, this is the hand. This is now the hand crawling towards the camera. I like it, I like it. Okay, there you go. Well, it's a bit different to what we normally do. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this is Blake, this is Jake. Hello. Everybody Hello. here rhymes. It's very important. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll be back very soon. If you've enjoyed this kind of thing, then remember to push the button underneath and subscribe, because then I'll come whoosh, zooming into an inbox near you. 
See you next time.